What's up, everyone? Welcome to Power Play with CJ. To want to focus in on the Vancouver Canucks, name and I, Jim Benning, former Boston Bruins assistant general manager to the uh, general manager spot. It's a good move for Vancouver. I mean, I thought Buffalo should have given uh, Benning a longer look. Um, you know, three, four, five months ago, they were looking at a general manager, and you know, I think he's going to do a good job with Vancouver. Um, you know, is kind of got left a little bit less than I think he would have liked in terms of having two quality goaltenders a year ago and now not having any. But, um, you know, again, I think Benning's IQ, the fact that Benning was part of the Boston Bruins becoming a winner. And then someone asked me, it's going to be awkward for him. No, it's not. Yeah, obviously, they played each other in the finals a few years ago. Both teams had that kind of interconference rivalry because of that. I'm going to tell you, like, hockey's a business. The NHL is a business. You're going to go to the highest bidder. And, you know, the Vancouver Canucks are going to hire the guy they seem to be they see to be most fit for the job. And, quite frankly, Benning is, is a good fit. I, I'm looking forward to seeing who they name as their head coach. I think it's possible... Um, Barry Trotz, I think it's it's a very possible it's a very possible situation. I mean, I know Trotz was in Washington the other day. I think the Panthers be calling about Trotz. I think anyone with the vacancy would be calling about Barry Trotz. But I wouldn't. Um, again, I, I think it, it'd be good to get on, take care of the head coaching position sooner rather than later. But I think Bennett's whole thing is to be get, is to get the right guy, and uh, not necessarily just go for you know the first guy that, that'll sign on the dotted line. You know. He, being a little bit patient with this may not be the worst thing in the world for Vancouver, and that could pay dividends, you know, down the line. Uh, the goaltending situation is going to be something to keep an eye on between Lack and uh, Markstrom. Neither one is uh, a proven number one. They could be a sleeper pick on the Ryan Miller sweepstakes. I'm not totally sure about that. Another question is going to be, you know, Ryan Kessler asked out, will they move Kessler? Will he end up in Pittsburgh, Philly, wherever? Um, and then, you know, Alex, the rumors about Alex Edler getting traded. So, you know, there, there's a lot. He, he's he's going to be a busy man. You know, and they got a, a top 10 pick. Um, I think they got a 6 or 7 in the draft uh, next month. So, you know, again, if someone mock draft, I think I got to think of Nikolai Ehlers with that uh, number 7 pick. But, um, you know, that could change for now. And then they could trade that pick, try to get themselves a quality number one goalie. Considering, again, they had two, now they have none. Not, again, not the most ideal situation for Benning. But I think he'll do a... Um, He'll do a, uh, a complete makeover of the organization. They'll be back to contending sooner rather. I mean, there's talent there. Getting a little bit older, the Sedins, you know, guys like that. But, um, you know, I think it's it's still not a bad hockey team, you know. And I think if they can address the goal winning situation, you know, they, they can be a playoff team out west next season. A, a borderline playoff team. You know, the west is loaded. But, um, again, I think it's going to be not a full-scale overhaul. But there's going to be enough modifications that it, it, it's an overhaul. You know, I don't think they're going to tank and try to get... Although, you never know. I mean, Benning could say, you know what, F this. We're going to try to get McDavid or Eichel next year. That's a possibility. I don't see that happening. But, again, um, I think they made the right move. And I think, again, they'll, they'll be a... Um, They'll be back to being part of a playoff team. So, you know, again, I think there's too much. It's it's too good of a hockey market to have such a shitty team. You know, the, the fans are great and, um, you know, really a very passionate fan base. So they deserve the best, and I think Benning will give them the best. And besides, they gave us our president of hockey operations and Cam Neely. Thanks, Vancouver, for that trade. Cam Neely and Glenn Wesley for Barry Peterson. So one of the most one-way trades in the history of the National Hockey League. And Peterson was a good player, but it wasn't Bam Bam Cam. And that led to Neely being uh, dumb and dumber. So a great moment in cinematic history as well. Anyway, that's our next episode of the Power Play with CJ on the uh, Vancouver Canucks naming uh, Jim Benning, general manager. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.